What is going on you guys? Today we're in Atlanta, Georgia. If you watched our last video, that was like leading up to this moment. And we are officially at the place where we're loading up all the inventory that we're buying. Don't wanna tell you exactly what it is yet. We'll save that for the end of the video, but uh, it's a ton of stuff in this garage. We're gonna get it loaded up on the trailer, packed up into the car. Hopefully we don't end up looking like the clampets <laughs> on our four hour Probably ride home will. today. Unfortunately, it's supposed to rain all day long today. So we had to pick up some extra tarps and tie downs and all that. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we don't ruin any of this priceless inventory. <laughs> this was our largest wholesale purchase ever in terms of volume of items as well as price. We spent $7,000 on 1,050 pieces of inventory. So we just left our friend at Courtney's house. She's the person that sold us all this stuff. And I wanted to get a clip of everything loaded down. We really did pick a terrible day. It's starting to mist it's rain. To rain already so three and a half hour drive so hopefully yeah. it'll it'll make it like i said we don't want to tell you exactly what's in here but i don't think it's anything that'll be totally ruined if it gets like slightly wet uh i think we'll be okay we got the bungee cords coming in handy got the full tarp so we'll 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 work on it we got a three and a half hour drive home so we have made it one <laughs> Okay, I was about to say we made it one minute because our ETA went from, our, our time of the trip went from three and a half hours to three hours and 29 minutes. But in the time it took me to turn my GoPro on, it went back to three hours and 30 minutes. <laughs> so I guess there's some wreck somewhere. So we have made zero progress. And as you can see, it is full-fledged raining now. No more, no more mist. Oh gosh. Hopefully it's not like this all the way home. Hopefully. We're in trouble. <laughs> Oops, I missed my turn. So we are like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes into the trip. Here's what everything looks like so far. So good. I think this first box on this side, this corner right here is obviously pretty wet. So I'm going to try to pull the tarp down a little bit more or something. Most Ooh, there's, pretty decent. there's a bunch of water. There's a bunch of water in there. We'll get this all situated. And I think if it's made it this far, it should be good to go. It was not good to go. It literally poured down rain the entire drive home after that Chick-fil-A stop. Okay, guys, we are home. Unfortunately, though, a lot of the boxes are absolutely soaking wet. Probably from the last, like, two hours of our drive has been nonstop rain. So, yeah, I need to open the door here. I left this part of the video in here so you guys could check out my sweet trailer backing skills. I've been practicing lately. If you've never tried to back a trailer, it can be a little tricky. And I feel like I did a pretty good job here getting it in the in the warehouse. Yeah, as you can see, very wet. Everything's wet back there. And these are probably the worst on that side. But we made it. Well, let's open up these wet boxes and see what we bought for so much money that's now wet. I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna do. I know we just have to get the boxes open to pull the stuff out so it doesn't get all musty. A lot of this is gonna be clothing. I don't think we've told you guys that yet in the video. It's a lot of clothing. It's some shoes, some accessories. Uh, I've said a couple hard goods, some plush. So it's stuff that like, it's not electronics, so it may not be ruined. And I don't think there, there might be a couple things that are new with tags, but most everything is used so we can wash it. But if we don't have to wash it, that would be great. If we could just get it out of here so it doesn't get all musty. So I don't know if we're gonna try to hang up a couple pieces here, lay out some stuff somewhere. I don't know, shout out Kim. She came and finished cleaning the this side of the warehouse. So we do have plenty of space over here to work with today. But I was hoping it was just gonna be the boxes on the side that were wet, but even the ones in the middle got wet. Like yeah. that's crazy. I, I just like put, poked it basically yeah. and it's just like so much, falling apart. So much for reusing these boxes. Right? Oh, everything's so nicely folded in here. Thankfully, the it's clothes are not that wet yet. So first pair of jeans, uh, they're wet and they have like some of the residue from the actual cardboard. They like transferred, so we're probably gonna have to wash those. Yeah. So I guess we make like a pile of stuff that needs washing. I just want to hang them up to dry, at least right now, because we're not going to get to the laundry for the next couple of days. Looks like a lot of new attack stuff in this. Oh, that's cool. What is, what is this? That? Closet London, never heard of it, but it's new with tags. So we have a total of 1,050 items, 1050 0, 0 items in this haul. And we spent $7,000 total. So it came out to be like, let's see, slightly more than $7 per item, slightly less, something around $7 per item. And I know there were a couple pairs of shoes in here that were really good. So just gotta get in here and make sure nothing's 
Nothing's ruined. Oh, we got some Hudson jeans. Hudson jeans, those are good. Two two pairs of Hudson jeans. We got I think. some anthropology. Anthropology pants. Luckily, I think the things that were like inside, deep inside the boxes, those are actually pretty good. Millie, Millie dress. Nike sweatshirt. Nike sweatshirt. That's very cute. The camera up here on this wet box. Soft surroundings jeans. Oh, I didn't even know they made jeans. Yeah. To be honest with you guys, we bought this from a complete stranger. It was a YouTube, an Instagram follower, and she said that she'd been thrifting for a while and things had gotten kind of out of, out of hand because she has a full-time job and she started doing like consignment reselling for other people uh, and she couldn't stop thrifting. So I'm like, well, take a look at what you got. So she sent us a list of like the brands like Madewell, Anthropology, Athleta, Athleta, Lululemon, stuff like that. Um, and when she said the price, you know, like $7 per piece, I was like, there's a risk there, I guess a little bit, since I don't really, this is All Saints. All Saints is good, right? I got a good feeling about this, as long as I nothing do is ruined. There is one box that she said had really, really good stuff in it, so we put that inside the car, so that is definitely not wet. Stay tuned at the end of the video, we'll go through that box last. This poor box right here is busting at the seams. All right. Let's move this outside. One box down. I don't know, like 15 to go. So we're gonna keep going through this stuff. I don't want the whole video to just be us going through wet boxes. We're gonna go through, get everything laid out some way as we, as we figure it out, and then maybe show you guys the highlights at, after we get things moved out here. So we've been time-lapsing since, I don't know, a few minutes now. And I was digging in this box and I got this pair of Ralph Lauren pants, new with tags. And I was like, oh, these are probably like, you know, $80, $100 retail pants. I was looking at the tag and the MSRP, $1,395 for, for, for pants. And I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not saying that's how much these are worth, but obviously these are not just your ordinary run-of-the-mill Ralph Lauren pants. So we're gonna set these off to the side. Josh, I'll find you a pair of chubbies. Oh my gosh, look, look at those chubbies. So fast forward a couple days, I think our camera died in the middle of the time lapse going through everything, but we have several large piles of clothes over here. We have a whole rack over there, a couple more boxes on the other side, and we put some of the good things in a pile right here. I told you guys as we went through the boxes, we would pull off all the stuff we were really excited about and give you guys a sneak peek. We're not done yet. We still have these five boxes, five, six, seven boxes to go through. There's also a box over there that she has a star on. So she told us that all that stuff was really, really good stuff. So stay tuned for that box. I'm excited for that. She called them the showstopper items. Showstopper so, items. And I thought some of these were showstopper items. Yeah. I think I already showed you guys these pants. These are new with tags, Ralph Lauren pants. Uh, MSRP is $1,395. They are 100% wool. So maybe that's something to do with it, but uh, those are definitely in the good pile. Let me put them over here out of the way. Like we have, we have a free people jacket, but it's a leather, which is Ve really cool. I think that's vegan leather. Oh, it's vegan leather. Yeah. Um, Columbia extra large, like a puffer jacket is pretty cool. We have rag and bone, rag and bone made denim in USA. Jacket. We have, um, obviously this is in the good pile. <laughs> We're going to sure. see if that fits Moe's later on. Yes. Let's tie the arms right here. Perfect. Look at there. Oh boy. Fits great. <laughs> <laughs> I found this sweater. I don't know the brand, but that's a good point. By the way, like there's so many brands of women's clothing that neither Haley and I have ever seen before, yeah. <laughs> but it like feels high quality. So as we go through some of the stuff, especially some of the stuff in the good box, if you guys are watching this and you see like a really good brand that isn't super popular, definitely drop a comment down below Please and let us let know. Us know. <laughs> uh, what brand was this? This was 
Mark Shale, like a vintage sweater with like cool buttons. I thought that was neat. This is, I think this is a genuine rabbit fur jacket. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have a tag on it, but it feels like rabbit fur. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. We got, oh, this was that motorcycle jacket. It was like a thick winter insulated motorcycle jacket. Refrigerware, uh, size large. We got to look up comps on that, but it's, I swear this jacket's like four inches thick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that is, you're not going to be cold at all. On that one, we got some uh, gold day uh, denim shorts. Haley sold a pair of a gold day uh, long jeans before for like hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. This is a good brand to be on the lookout for. That's Patagonia. This is a Patagonia, like really cool. Yeah, that's super, super yeah. interesting. What was this? This is a horny toad. Horny is that toad? a good brand? I don't know. I put it that might this... just be on the. That's one of the things that it just feels high quality. I've yeah. never seen that before, so maybe that's good. This was Brooks Brothers, like a Brooks Brothers Peacoat, new with tags. Brooks Brothers is not a great brand, but a new with tags Peacoat, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm sure that's worth more than the $7 we paid for it. Some of the stuff we put aside just because we didn't know. Like, oh, this is a good brand. Oh, yeah, the Sims. Sims, like fishing. a fishing. They're like waiters. Yeah. yeah. Sims is a really great brand, especially their jackets. Definitely be on the lookout for that. We've got a ton of Lululemon. This was not Lululemon. This was, oh, this was the OnCloud shirt. I didn't even know uh, on on cloud like the shoes. I didn't even know they made clothing, but that's a new with tags on cloud long sleeve shirt. Who knows how much it retailed for? On clouds are not cheap, so this is probably like a seventy or eighty dollar shirt retail. We've got was that the? I think that was the Patagonia. This is the Patagonia, but it's made in USA. Made in USA Patagonia. Really cool. And obviously this is not like all the good things. So like when we were pulling all this stuff out the other day, we were just frantically trying to get it out of the boxes. So yeah. we have so much other good stuff besides this too. It's a little cheetah jacket here. This is J Crew new with tags. Again, not a great brand, but new with tags, cheetah print. I feel like that would do pretty well. This is also a bolo brand for all of you Filson. out there. Filson. Very nice. Yes. We've got these pants here. These are Iridion. Iridion, again, not a brand that we're familiar with, but they feel very expensive. Yeah. They're riding wear, so specifically oh, like for, horses. Like horses. Oh, okay. This was that really cool Volcom jacket. I'm going to pull that out. Very neat. Never seen anything like that before. We had like three or four Lululemon jackets, like long sleeve Lululemon jackets. Mm -hmm. That was one of them. We got this leather, Good American vegan leather jacket right here. Good American's really good. I know that. Um, just all sorts of stuff. So you guys get the idea. That was like some of the highlights from the stuff we pulled out so far, what little we've seen. Now we got to get into these boxes. Hey, Mose. We Mose. also haven't shown yeah. you this yeah. side, but this is literally all the clothes <laughs> that we pulled out from all those boxes. We've got all we these. so much stuff. All these bags and boxes over here. We've got the wagon filled up. We've got one box over here and this whole rack and like two piles right there. All this stuff on the trailer is garbage going to the dump, but... All this is what we've opened so far. And again, we still have seven boxes. We can show you kind of some of the stuff in here. We have like some belts, Brighton. Yeah, I think this both the belts are Brightons. Brighton, this one day. is um, Ralph Lauren. It's like a thick leather Ralph Lauren women's belt. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. We have like this really cool like wallet. What is it's, it called? It feels like cow skin on the front. Montana I say cow skin. West. Like the, the front, like that fur right yeah. there. In the middle. Yeah. It's definitely some sort of animal for just some a lot of bread and butter shoes oh i'm dropping stuff We've got some nike flip-flops some chaco shoes yeah these chacos are made in usa i don't know if all chacos are made in usa i've never really paid attention but generally speaking made in usa stuff is pretty good we have some moods pole mayor don't know what those are we have coach coach flip-flops these some are really cool torrid and we have this other box that opened accidentally. Again, we got some long, tall Sally. These are very large, like women's, women's size 15. Wow. I think. Uh, we got some seven, uh, seven for all mankind shoes. I thought these were Rothy's for a second. What are these? This looks like riding boots. Stuart something. Stuart Weissman. More tacos. Some heeled boots. Dolce oh, Vita. Miranda Lambert. Miranda Lambert. Oh, those are like leather boot with heel. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah. All right. Oh. These are boots, I think. Ooh, we've got some boots. Uggs. Some leather Ugg boots. We've got 
Steve Madden cowboy boots here. These look like oh Ariop. Oh, Some those smaller are smaller size Ariop cool. boots. Hair and Rose. Like knee high boots. See, oh, we have some really cool cane boots here on the bottom. Oh, yeah, those are like winter, winter cane boots. Yeah. These Uggs. Yeah, more Uggs. And then we've got Blondo again and more knee high boots. Steve Madden. And I think that's it. Pretty good box. Not too bad. I see something on top. We got some Olukai. Olukai loafers. Those are interesting. Those are probably. 40 bucks or so. We've got, we got some Zara. Zara pink somethings. What is that? I don't know what those are. They're new. I can't tell. I mean, new ish. Oh, Vince. 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 Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Fry. Fry wedges. Ooh, that's cool. Echo. Stuart Weitzman. Bionics. Bionics. Really good brands here. Uh, Bellini, Lucky brand. more Bionic, Everlane, those are good, right? Yeah, they're pretty enough. decent. Jeffrey Campbell. Y3? Yacht something? Uh, the Yaji Yamamoto. Oh, looky there, Tori Birch. Tori Birch, wow. Those are cool. Yeah, that's awesome. They're cute, too. They're a little flower embroiderer on, embroidery on them. Bionics. And Taylor. Bionics. J. Crew. Souls? No. J. Crew. Gentle Souls. These are J. Crew, but they're genuine leather. A hmm. really interesting feeling. Yeah. Hmm. Halogen? Okay. Got some moccasins down here. What are these? Oh, Lucky Brand, Zara. Zara. Okay, bags. I've been really excited about this one. I don't know a lot about bags and purses and wallets, but I just, I am so excited to see what's actually in here. The stuff so far has been really good. Yeah. Um, we have been 100% satisfied with this purchase. Oh, we've got some. What is, that? What, is that? what is this? Something. Um, I don't see, oh wait, Long Champ? That's what that says, long champ. Long champ, okay. Yeah. Feels high quality. Lily Pullets are makeup bag. We do really well with those on whatnot. Ooh, coach back perks. They're all stuck together here. Um how to untangle. There you go. That's the question. Through. How was this? Oh, there we go. Okay. What was that? Oh, coach. Nice. Definitely feels feels real. Fake coach Ooh, is usually very really easy to. Wow. That's a cool Kate Spade. Yeah. What's this real ostrich skin? Dooney and Burke ostrich? Oh, wow. There's another Dooney right there. I don't know what that's. Can you hold the camera for a second? Let's see if there's a. Ooh, we got some pennies and sunflower seeds. You would be most excited about that. Let's see. It's got the Dooney tag there. It's got the serial number. I don't see, I don't see anything inside that says it's real ostrich. Usually fake ostrich is very like uniform though. And this seems pretty random. You got those two little quill spots there. They're really close. So if that's real ostrich, this is really, really good. And I doubt Dooney Burke would use fake ostrich anyway. So definitely interesting. She paid 20, $26 for this at Goodwill. There's the other Dooney. It's nice. Classic. It feels like heavy and high quality. Yeah. We got a little tote bag. Is that Tory Birch? Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We have fossil. A couple of Tory Birch. Yeah. And we have here. Mundy? Mundy genuine leather? Mundy. I don't know. I like this one. Rebecca Minkoff, that's Rebecca good. Minkoff, we sold one of those good. recently. Oh, Kavu, that's cute. Yeah. Another Vans. Oh, that's Vans. Nice. Love Vans. This is a another Rebecca Minkoff. That one's cool. Yeah. Really cool, like in, interior pattern. Hill Cliff. Cliff. Hill Cliff backpack. It's very like sturdy. Yeah, very sturdy. It's new with tags too. 
and Kavu and Kate Spade. That was a great box. That was really good. Yeah. Second to last box. This one says shoes, miscellaneous hard goods, plush belts, and hats. Burrito! I've seen that <laughs> game before. I've seen that. So over there, we've got... What is this? Oh, look at those. Oh, it's Simply, Sim Southern. Simply Southern. I thought it was Birkenstocks. That's still good, though. we got some Nikes. Something. Nike Air Force Ones. It's pretty cool. We got Ray shoes. Steve Madden. That's it right there. Genuine leather, but I don't see a brand on that one. That's cute, though. Oh, Betsy Johnson. That's good. Betsy Johnson's good. We've got Jack Willis beach throw, beach towel, something like that. USA Olympics Toronto, or Tor Torino, 2006. Nellen, we've got in Atlanta. Jacksonville, California Exports, something. Florida State Seminoles, Tampa Bay Rays, Tampa Bay Rays, Seminoles, California Republic, Stella McCarthy, the Adidas running thing, some Squishmallows, you know, you know we love our Squishmallows over on whatnot. Oh, that was big. Banks. Got a little beanie, some more socks. Some hat. This is Volcom. A Volcom little beanie. And then this bag right here. Some more boots. These are... Ooh, these are Austin. Austin Trading Company. I think those are pretty good. We've got... Lucky Brand. Sam Edelman. Sam Edelman. Made well. Lucky. Vince Camuto, 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 Camuto. I think that's it in this one. Oh wait, we got nope. Yep, yeah, that's it in this one. So now we just have a special showstopper box. Oh. Haley, will you do me the honor? That's so nice of you. I'm really excited. Okay. Cut anybody here. Clothes on the top. We've got American jeans, okay. staple. We have blank NYC, really cool, like leather jacket. White leather, yeah. It's Burberry, I think. Yeah. Burberry kids, kids polo. Yeah. Everlane, Everlane jeans. Lily, Lily Pulitzer. Jane Delancey. Jane Delancey. T L A. T T La. Have Burberry pants. Nice. We have rails. I think I've heard of that. Mm -hmm. Anthropology. Anthropology. Spanx. Spanx are good. Also be probably fifty bucks right there. Ooh, we have a Saint John. Ooh, little Saint John, little knit. Yeah. Top thing. That's good. That's cool. And in style, a lot of Saint John stuff isn't in style yeah. anymore. Patagonia. Those Ooh, are cool. Yeah. We the free. Free people. Skinny jeans. That's cute. Free people. We got Athleta. We have Alice and Olivia. This feels nice. So it's Jay Mc McLaughlin. Jay McLaughlin. Jude Canali. Jude Canali. Connelly? Connelly. I don't know. Diane. Oh, Diane von Furstenberg. Furstenberg pants. Pants. Madewell jacket. Ooh, it's an altered state, but it's no attack. Hmm. That's nice. Is that a dress? I think so. Made well. I got an athleta jacket. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Theory? Never heard of theory. Never heard of that. Again, let us know if you see something that we're missing. J. Crew, never heard of it. J. Crew. <laughs> Vivian Tam. Vivian Tam. Okay. Oh, Beyond Yoga. Those are good. Mm hmm. Hannah Anderson dress. I've heard of it. Spiritual, spiritual gangsta. Yoga, peace, okay. love, yoga thing. Old, Old Navy. Navy. Oh, those might be my songs. I don't think so. We have Love Shack Fancy. 
Oh, that's, that's good. That's nice. Free people movement. Old Navy. We've got Loft. We have Princess Polly. Free people. Jim Shark. Shirt. Shirt action. Likely. Likely. New attack? Or no, that's the. Yeah. The price was $55, yeah. though. Daggum. Oh, that's cool. Grateful Dead. Yeah. It's modern, but that's still yeah. really cool. Let's see. Ooh, Vince. Vince Pants. Got a couple more things. We've got Zara, the CC California brand. More, more Zara. Zara. Those are cool. American, American Apparel. Apparel. And Ben Sherman. Oh, Ben's those are like pants. golf golf shorts. They retail for 90 bucks, though. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, it's not bad stuff, but I was kind of expecting better items for the showstopper box. That's I feel true. like the bag, I, the purse, the purses and bags was like more exciting. I thought that one was really cool. Yeah. And a lot of the other, like we have a lot of these specific brands in a lot of that pile yeah. too. Yeah. So. so what do you guys think? $7,000 for everything. I mean, you guys didn't see us open the first like 20 boxes, but that, that gives you a really good idea of what was in the other boxes. Yes. Like a lot of the same brands. We've got yeah. a ton of free people, Lululemon, Athleta. Um, we had a lot of the spring called Lafayette. Was it Lafayette 138? Lafayette oh, yeah. something? Yeah. We had, I don't know, 20 or 30 of those items. Um, of course, the Squishmallows. So very, very uh, excited about going through all this stuff. Slightly overwhelmed because Just it's a little bit. thousand <laughs> items. Um, and I know if we sell everything and whatnot, we wouldn't get top dollar. I've actually already sold, I picked 10 random things from this pile and then sold those and whatnot already. We had like an average selling price of like, I don't know, like $12 or something. One of the shirts went for like two bucks. And then we had some uh, anthropology, like uh, pajama pants that went for like $36 or something, but everything averaged out to like $12 or so after fees, which is almost doubling our money. Um, but I don't know, I feel like we, we just, could get a lot more money. Yeah, on we're eBay. gonna definitely put a lot of the higher end stuff on eBay, especially maybe some of the new with tag stuff, just yeah. so that we don't lose money on this deal. But we're gonna be bringing most of this stuff to you guys on whatnot. So be on the lookout for that. Watch definitely our, watch our, that. our I, I guess we'll put it women's modern and thrift as yeah. those shows. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Just want to jump in and say that if we are actually able to double our money quickly within sixty or ninety days and sell everything, I would actually be totally fine with that. I mean, seven thousand dollars in profit after fees is certainly no joke but i think with implementing listing some of the better stuff on ebay maybe cross posting to poshmark with list perfectly maybe doing poshmark live shows instead of whatnot live shows since women's clothing is more specifically geared towards poshmark we might end up making even more than that maybe between 10 and fifteen thousand dollars in profit and again if you guys saw any really good brands that we didn't get excited about but you got excited about definitely drop a comment down below mm -hmm. and let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And thank you again for watching. You're the best. We will catch you on, on the, the next, next one. one.